Peter and John when they actually went out to preach the gospel they actually converted about 5,000 people during that period the Sanhedrins were angry that these guys were just you know getting people to believe that Jesus Christ was Lord and as in his Lord and all of those things and people were coming to Christ they also performed some notable signs and wonders their boldness was extraordinary and it wasn't just the believers that noticed that even including the unbelievers noticed that their audacity was just beyond what the irregular or a normal person can have. One of the first signs of true obsession is having the boldness, a boldness to speak out for something that you're obsessed about. Peter and John were actually bold because they were men that were made in the place of prayer. After the threat by the Sanhedrin, they went back to their brethren, all right, and they had some prayer time. And the Bible says that the room where they were were shaking. Christianity is now a trend. A lot of people tend to want to associate with Christians, all right, because they feel that Christians are the cool ones in the block. And if you're not a Christian, it's like uncool not to be Christian, even though their lifestyle is not consistent with what a Christian is known for. Paul was saying, he said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ because it is the power of God unto salvation. It is the gospel of Christ preached that brings salvation of souls. It's not just about going out and just doing things. Peter and John were men of prayer. They were people who built boldness in the place of prayer. If we are not a people that regularly prays, regularly seeks the place of fellowship, we will not be bold enough to declare the truths of God. When your boldness is fueled by the fact that you dressed fine or that you are well rehearsed, you cannot minister life. You cannot preach this gospel in the power that God intended it. How it's designed is that it is on a wing of prayer that we fuel boldness. The place of prayer has emboldened us to declare the word of God in power. I hope it's blessed you guys. I pray that the Lord will give us strength in this season to do more and more and more for him. And our strength will not be based on just our abilities alone, but our strength will be based on the true obsession to just love him and express him to the world out there.